So we are in the process of moving into a new house. It's a mid-century modern house uh, built in 1864. So it's got some great craftsmanship, um, but a lot of stuff that needs updating. Um, it's a very big house. So updating every room with like the highest quality supplies is just not gonna be possible. So we decided to tackle this spare bathroom first um, on a budget, under a $1,000. Um, we are going to remove this wallpaper, uh, refinish the floors. We're thinking of doing peel and stick tiles just right over this old vinyl flooring because um, it's in really good shape still and I, that'll save a lot of money. Um, probably go out here into the hallway too. Um, this little closet, some little bit of flooring in there too. Um, we'll keep the toilets in good shape. This vanity is in excellent shape. Um, it's just very high quality vanity. Um, this countertop though is that or mica or laminate countertop that everyone had once upon a time. We'll, we'll remove this and uh, get a butcher block top with like a vessel sink on top. Get some sort of cool mirror to replace this and replace that light fixture there, even though it's pretty cool. Um, I think we're gonna replace it. So once we take the wallpaper down, we'll paint the walls and it should look really cool once we're all done. Um, so first step is removing the wallpaper, which is always a pain, so let's get started. So I took the fixtures down, uh, turned power off, took the light down. Um, I've never taken one of these vanity mirrors off before. I read that you're supposed to put packing tape on it and then just kind of try to rip it off the drywall. So I put clear packing tape on the whole thing now I'm gonna to try to take it off. Um, then we can get to start removing all this wallpaper. so easy. <laughs> So I bought this um, at Lowe's. You can find these at Lowe's or, or Home Depot. It's just a little tool that scours the wallpaper. Um, and then you're supposed to get the wallpaper wet and it'll like reactivate the adhesive and then you should be able to just peel it off the walls. Um, from reading about this online, it seems like just fabric softener works to uh, remove the wallpaper. So you mix uh, a quarter fabric softener to a quarter, three quarters hot water. So I'm just gonna do that here in this bucket um, and then just use like a rag to soak the wallpaper. You can also put this in a spray bottle and do it that way. Okay, 
Okay, well it's days and days later and I've gotten all of this uh, wallpaper down. This was definitely the worst DIY thing I've ever done. Um, I had a lot of trouble with this. So I put joint compound on the wall. Um, I'm gonna come back and sand it and then we're gonna paint. This is the butcher block that I got from Lowe's. I just have it like sitting on top of the vanity here. I'm gonna get it all measured out so it can kind of go into this corner here. And then I am going to seal it, get it um, on top of here, put the sink on. Um, so slowly getting there, the wallpaper hopefully was the worst part. Okay, here is the butcher block. Um, I have it in the garage now. Um, cut it all to size, and I even cut a little notch out here um, for the door trim. I basically used my Makita jigsaw for everything. My table saw like wasn't wide enough to do all these cuts, so I just did it by hand with the jigsaw. It worked great. Um, next step is sealing it. Um, I did a lot of research online and I found that this water lock stuff is the most recommended way to seal wood for uh, use in bathrooms and kitchens and stuff. So first you use this sealer. Then afterwards use this H2O locks. Um, which basically makes the wood waterproof. So that is our next step. That'll probably take a couple days because you have to let it dry in between coats. So in the meantime, we're gonna start painting and maybe start the floors. So I am finally getting ready to start on the tile. Um, this is the tile I got. I got pretty much everything, majority of everything for this project on Amazon. This is the tile. Um, we just like this design, but they have a pretty good selection on Amazon. Um, we got a lot of stuff there because, you know, it delivers really quickly and we wanted to get this project finished within the time that we were here, which is only about 10 days. Um, these walls took forever. They're still not painted. So we really had like a short amount of time to get everything done. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start on the tile. Um, you're supposed to have a chalk line on the floor to make sure you get straight lines. I don't have that, so I'm going to use a level and just a speed square to make sure everything is straight as I'm starting up. Um, I also have this cool thing I just got for this project. It's called a contour gauge. You would just push it up against like a weird little area. You have to cut tile or wood or something. Um, so you push it up against, you lock it here and then you take it off and then you have like the line that you can just draw out on your tile and cut it out and then the tile will fit in perfectly there. So that's pretty cool, excited to use that. Um, I also got this um, adhesive. It's like extra adhesive because these tiles already have adhesive on them, but I found I found differing opinions online. If you're putting this peel and stick tile on top of like existing vinyl or laminate or whatever, sometimes doesn't stick right. So I got that just in case. Um, this is the existing tile we have. Honestly, not sure what kind it is. So it's just basically another layer of adhesive to make it last longer. Um, got my measuring tape and knife here that's the only thing you need to cut the tile out so let's get started hopefully this won't take too long Okay, so here is an update. This has definitely been the most fun part of the project so far. Um, 
my plan was to just do all the, you know, full tiles first. Um, so I got some in the closet. And then I will go back and do all the pieces that are not a full tile, all the pieces that have like a interesting little cutout. So this is definitely going to be the more difficult part, but this part was super easy. Um, you know, I've read a lot of reviews for these peel and stick tiles and it was a hundred dollars of tiles for this whole bathroom and hallway. I mean, you just can't beat that price. The, the reviews were very mixed. Um, and we knew that going into it, there were definitely pros and cons. Um, you can see like, they don't match up perfectly um, everywhere. There's like little gaps that are kind of odd. Um, here's a good example. But I mean, when you look at it overall, you really can't see that. And it looks great. I mean, it brightens up the whole room already. So I think they're great. I would recommend them. All right, let's finish this out. Okay, good morning. It is our last day in town and floors are done. Um, we got the wall painted here and I have the countertop dry fit on here. It's just laying on top of the vanity. Um, so hopefully before, we're actually leaving town today. So the plan is just to get this like installed, get the, um, get the light installed. That's my sink I got from Amazon. This is the really cool faucet. I got this from Amazon as well. It is really cool. Um, hopefully get that installed and we'll be good to go. The good thing with a um, vessel sink like that just sits right on top of the countertop. So you just have to drill a hole for the drain and then drill another hole for the faucet. And that should be it. Installing the sink and the faucet was actually really simple. The uh, drain assembly for the sink came with the faucet and everything was included. You just might need to play around with it a bit um, since how you install it kind of depends on the width of your countertops. And here it is. All complete, floors are done. Got the fixtures back on, this light fixture from Amazon, mirror from Lowe's, these two are from Amazon. The um, faucet actually comes with the drain here. So cool. Um, the finish on the butcher block came out great. Um, I bought this pre-stained from Lowe's and I was concerned sealing it was going to alter the color, but it really didn't. It looks perfect with the gold and the black and the yellow, pop of color, looks great. Um, the painting, not our best work, but we'll come back and touch that up. Uh, but for now, I'll show you before and after and it's just such a huge difference. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please comment any questions and please subscribe. See you next time.